Let's make this hanging bathroom hand towel together. So first you're going to need a full towel. Um, this is actually going to create two individual towels for you, um, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. Once you have your towel, you want to lay it flat into uh, equal halves and just cut it like you, as you see there. Next, you're going to fold it. The reason you're doing this is because you want to have a placement for the embroidery. Now, you're going to do this again at the, after you do the embroidery work, but I just wanted to gauge where I wanted my embroidery design to go. And off to the machine I go to get this embroidery. This was a really simple design. If you want it, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to place it on my website for you. Um, and next, I'm just going to cut out the pattern for this. So while the embroidery work is getting done, I'm going to take care of this, fold it flat on both sides. Now it's the right sides facing each other. So what you're seeing here is the uh, wrong side. And then I am going to go ahead and stitch it while leaving the bottom open completely. The entire bottom of this is going to be open so I can turn it inside out. And you'll see what I'll do later on as we go along. Now you probably want one of those sticks to help you poke out the corners to make sure that everything lays flat. And then just go ahead and flat iron it again just so everything is fully flat. Um, I love this ironing board in the mini iron, by the way. Anyway, so once done, I'm going to go ahead and do about a half an inch. Actually, this is a quarter of an inch. Um... Uh, lining fold <laughs> I can't talk um, and now my embroidery work is done and I'm going to repeat the same fold I had earlier on in the beginning because now I do want to stuff this into the piece I have just finished sewing hopefully that does make sense so repeating the same thing and just I'm going to pin it down once that's all done um, to make sure it all fits into the piece I've just finished sewing so that's what you see me doing there just using some clips to hold it down and um because this has to fully be, be able to fully tuck into that piece i finished sewing so this you're doing it with the right side facing down and um i'm just clipping it right there i wanted to show how to fold this very slowly so that there's no confusion i also added some pins here just to make sure that this stays intact while i do my sewing because i did not want it to come apart and create a problem again the whole premise of using this is just to make life easier for you and you know sometimes people use towels and they don't ha leave them hanging so this will actually save you that and ensure that your towel will stay hanging on the rack in your bathroom um i should also mention that you can use the same design for an oven uh, to put towels in your oven as well your oven handle so now this is about the right size and all i'm going to do is just fully stuff that in there take it out of my clips because i've pinned it down it should stay in uh, stay put and i just stuffed it in about a three quarters of an inch in there because i really didn't want it to pull down over time and that's what it looks like so next i'm going to go ahead and sew this flat down um now that was the reason why i wanted to fold it in because that allows you to get rid of the rough edges and this is basically it that's it next i'm going to put in some snaps um, take it off my pens here and um, i want to determine where my snaps are going to go so the first thing i did was to fold it obviously i know what my bathroom rod looks like and the width of it so i didn't have any problems trying to figure out what uh, how much of it i wanted to hang down and be sure when you put your snaps you're not putting it directly on the towel because it's going to be really hard to put the snaps in unless you're using a button uh, type thing which works and now let's go see what it looks like in the bathroom there you have it. I love it. Happy New Year. And if you do make it, please be sure to tag me. If you're not already doing so, please be sure to like, share, and follow. Have a wonderful year.